Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you watch my channel, you might have seen some of my recent videos where I've been testing where the guitars actually sound that different. And my last video was whether overdrive pedals actually sound that different. Now, I thought I'd go right in the weeds in today's video and actually see whether plectrums sound that different. I get quite a few comments where people ask what plectrums that I use. And I tend to use these Dunlop Flow plectrums, which I really like. And to be honest, I've never really given much thought if plectrums do actually sound any different. I tend to have a preference with plectrums. I like the ones with a sort of a sharp point on the end because I feel I can get more pick attack. There are such a massive variety of plectrums out there and more and more companies are doing these sort of boutique plectrums where you can actually spend a fortune on plectrums. Now, don't worry, I'm not doing that today, but we're gonna be looking at some of the classic plectrums and one that's a little bit different just to see if they do actually sound any different. The plectrums we're gonna be using today is my favorite, which is the Dunlop Flow 88. Then we've got Gravity Pick. This is a classic 1.5. Then we've got the classic Jim Dunlop Tortex 88, which is the same thickness as this flow plectrum here. Then for you shredders and you precision players, I've got a Dunlop Jazz 3 plectrum. And the wildcard plectrum that I've got today is this plectrum here, which is made by a company called the Highland Plectrum Company. The Highland Plectrum Company make plectrums out of old coins. And they file them down and polish them up and they are absolutely fantastic. I really got into them a couple of years ago after searching on Reverb and I've got quite a few now and I really do love them. So what I'm gonna do is to play a variety of different things and we'll see how different all these plectrums sound. Now, first of all, I'm gonna go from sort of the cleanest sort of sounds up to the most sort of drivey sounds. So let's start with the clean piece. <laughs> To me, that is a big difference. I know in the context of a song or possibly a gig, you wouldn't really hear that much difference, but you can really hear the difference with all the different materials and plectrums. Now for me, the Dunlop Flow does exactly as I would expect. It's got that sort of sharp pick attack. But as soon as we start moving to the other plectrums, like the Gravity Pick and the Tortex Pick, they're a lot warmer and they have a lot more bass in the sound. Now, the plectrum that I really didn't like on this was the Jazz 3. It's got a sound about it, almost like a bit flat, and I guess that's great if you're doing sort of shreddy sort of stuff where you need that sort of constant pick attack. And maybe that really works for that. But for my sort of style, it doesn't work. My favorite was the Highland Plectrum Company Penny that just had a really nice pick attack. And if you're using it in the studio, it does really help cut through the mix. Right, let's try a simple sort of blues lead part. And I'll try and play the same thing every time and we'll see how different all these plectrums sound on a lead part. <laughs> the Dunlop Flow 88 and the Highland Plectrum Company definitely are my favorite on this. They've got the most articulation. The one I really didn't like on this was the Dunlop Tortex pick. For me, it just rounded out the, the tone a little bit too much and I didn't get any of that nice sharp pick attack, which I really like. I'm gonna turn the gain up on the amp and let's try some edge of breakup 
rhythm parts. <laughs> Again, for me, there is a clear winner of the, the penny plectrum. I think there's something about metal plectrums that when it's reacting with the string, you get loads of articulation. And again, when using the Tortex pick, it doesn't have any articulation and the, the notes sort of mush into each other. So that's really interesting. So for me, the Highland Plectrum Company, and again, also the Dunlop Flow Plectrum, which is sort of my go-to. So let's turn the overdrive up on the amp and let's see how the plectrums make the guitar react with a bit of drive on it. As I'm turning up the drive, I'm noticing less and less differences with all the different plectrums. The only plectrum that did actually sound different, again, was the Highland Plectrum Penny Plectrum. It just has that little bit of high-end zing that I really like, but if you're using something like a Telecaster in the bridge position, that might actually be a little bit too much. But in this scenario, again, I thought that one sounded the best. So let's up the gain even more and I'll do some sort of shreddy stuff. I'm not a shredder, so please bear with me on this, but I'm gonna play something sort of fast and we'll see how articulate we can get the notes with each plectrum. <laughs> Now on this test, I really liked the way that the gravity plectrum sounded. The thing about the gravity plectrum, it's got this sort of rough edge about it. And when you sort of tilt the plectrum a little bit, which I would do for playing that sort of style of thing, you end up getting this sort of nice sort of scrape to the notes. You're not really gonna get that from the other plectrums, but I really like the way that one sounded. But again, the most articulation that we got out of all these plectrums, even though the gravity one on this sort of sound was my favorite, the most articulation was again, the Highland Plectrum Company plectrum. It just has that little bit of extra articulation that you don't get from the other picks. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. What I'm gonna do is to leave a link to the Highland Plectrum Company so you guys can go and check out what they do. They sell their plectrums all on Reverb. I don't think they've got a shop anywhere else, but go and check them out and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Anyway, as I said, I really hope you guys got something out of this. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.